All right, we're heading to Mango Bistro over in Englewood, Florida, which is just west of Port Charlotte and North Port. So we're gonna go through North Port actually to get there from Southwest Florida. We're passing through the Mayaka State Forest now on the way over to Englewood. All right, the restaurant is just down here on the left. I think just beyond that stop sign up here. All right, there it is on the corner, Mango Bistro. Yeah. You ready to eat? Yes. Entire menu plant based. Yeah, we need wow. a, we used to have options, but people are like not too sure about what the options were. So yes. <laughs> this is Marie, the owner. Say hi. Order from the when they're plant based. So we have breakfast items and lunch items. Um, also brought your regular menu. So you gluten sensitive. See. So is this gluten sent? This is just gluten sent. Gluten free. It's, it's gluten free with gluten sensitive, just because we do have gluten in the premises. All right, so this is new as of this week or last week. Brand, it's brand new and it's so many selections here. Yeah, we can't wait to try some of these. This is gonna be great. And also so this organic. is a whole smoothie menu? And cocktails. So right, all, all, the okay, and cocktails all the smoothies are organic? Yes. Everything? Okay. Okay, so in addition to these smoothies are all organic. Even the, one, yes. the organic ones and even the one that says super smooth yes. food. And then the menu here, it's mostly organic, as much well, organic as you can most, get. Once in a while you can't get something organic. I'm trying to right, think of an example. Right. Like, yes, so I understand. Yes. I just, uh, okay, but this is the juice menu. Yes. Yeah, yeah, not as nice. But this is not this is not brand new like the other ones. <laughs> right. Well actually it's two months making uh, oh, really? I'm still working on the ones that sell the best to do um, you know, so I like to use fun names as you can tell. Yes. And same thing, that's all organic. Nice. And, like our, you know, we use a lot of plant-based milks and all that, so we're yeah. trying right. our best to be healthy. <laughs> and, but I came from California, and I moved here, and I was like, what's going on with the food here? We need some yeah. vegan, plant-based stuff, yeah. They've been there. here for 12 years. Um, I like to think of our concept as a California with a twist. Yes. Uh, I'm from France, so I have some French influence, of course. But then when I lived in California, I was amazed with their uh, the variety of fresh food and all the uh, creative concepts with vegetarian food and vegan food. So that's how this came about. So some of the ideas were from when I lived in California. Right. And some of them are just from my head. Awesome. Looking around and thinking of what I can make is what we can find as protein and stuff. So. All right, here is the regular menu. So you can bring your non-plant-based friends. They got something for everything here. So for everything, everyone, kids. And then on the back, of course, they got a whole coffee bar here. I didn't even realize that. Look, coffee bar. And of course, the smoothies we were talking about. Here's the kids menu. Let's see what they have. They even have the uh, smoothies on the kids menu. Kid sizes, I guess, yeah. And on the back of this one that we saw earlier is the wine and beer list, too. So they've got just about everything here. You gotta check this place out. You're not gonna be disappointed. There's so much here. And lastly, this is the regular menu. Uh, some, it's not 100% plant based, it's the, the regular one because I didn't even realize they had that plant based menu. This is the front. Check out some of the selections here. And here is the back of the main menu. They have French crepes over here, a whole French crepes section. Oh, I don't think those are any, any of the plant based, so we're not going to be eating them, but I would definitely give those a try as well. 
What is this? Dessert. Vegan cookies. Vegan nice. Vegan cookies and they come in like gluten free as well. Nice. <laughs> awesome. So these are juices that you bottled you can take home? Yes. All right. They make fresh and I bottle them. So. Very nice. I think Denise is going to get the pina colada. And I'm going to get the uh, green monster with wheatgrass. Okay, yeah. What do we have? We have our avocado toast topped oh, avocado. with our organic microgreens. Oh, nice. Then we have our tacos del vegan gringo. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, made with our vegan chorizo and okay. vegan cheese. And then we have our Southwest breakfast burrito. Oh, nice. All vegan. Looks, looks wonderful. Yeah, can't wait. Okay, I don't know which one to get into first, and we have four more entrees that are going to be arriving as well. Well, it, it's, it's a burrito, I think. I think it's a breakfast burrito. Oh, here we go. And here we go. have our grilled cheese, vegan grilled cheese. Oh, Denise is going to want that. Keep that away from Denise. And we call it the vegan Italian. Okay, nice. Because we have a non-vegan option that's uh, Italiano. Yes. And this is our um, harvest chickpea salad oh, wow. with our oh, vegan wow. gazpacho. Wow, that looks that looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you said everything is com everything is compostable. Yeah, right? every uh, to-go container that we use and we've used for 12 years is compostable. Very and nice. We're very proud of that. Our so, what are you going to eat first, Denise? Um, this wrap that has cheese in it, and a bite of that, and a bite of this. <laughs> But definitely that thing first because it looks like a it looks like a mac and cheese crunch wrap. <laughs> it does. It definitely does. So you're not oh, doing yeah. the photo? Sorry. More! And this is a Mediterraneo quinoa bowl and it has hummus and all kinds of goodies on it. Nice. And this is our Bali crunch wrap. Oh, it also oh, has yeah. uh, quinoa, vegetables, a lot of vegetables, crunchy veggies, and then a Thai peanut sauce. Oh, nice. And that's Literally. Yeah, look at all of this. This is like. Yeah. Yeah. This is like Thanksgiving. This is plant-based Thanksgiving right here. Yeah, that would be awesome. So we remember. Yes. Oh man. This, yeah, this is like, we've never had a meal like this before. What? Look at all this stuff. Let me train you. We're gonna be, it may, this may be an entire days or, or more worth of food for us. Yeah, this is like. Well, I got the grilled cheese sandwich right here. You're okay with that, right? We can't have it all. It's only, a ha it's only one half of the grilled cheese right there. I'm not sure. That's the burrito, I think. I think the burrito. Taco time. This tacos del vegan gringo. That, that was amazing. That was I. I the swallow inhaled that one taco right there. All right, now I'm into the vegan Italian panini that Denise already had. I'm gonna get to try it now. It has cheese. Still working on the panini? Yeah, it's so good. It has vegan cheese. It's kind of spicy. <laughs> It's a good spot. Shot. Okay, here's Denise with grilled cheese. This is a dangerous combination. Let's see what she says. Really good? Yeah. I didn't read what kind of cheese it is, but it's really creamy. It's like toast-based butter. 
Alright, I just tried this awesome avocado toast. Now Denise is gonna try some avocado toast. Alright, if you guys are not in the really health stuff, they don't really add much sodium here, so you can always add it later. But to me, that's awesome because you can't take the sodium out. You can't take the salt out once it's in there. So for someone like me, this is perfect. And for anybody, because you can always add it. So unlike most restaurants, this is this is this is incredible. If you ask me, this is the way to go. Well, that was a that was a great experience and. I have to say, just it's not like your regular restaurant experience, even your regular place with vegan options, even your regular all vegan restaurant, because this is like mostly, if not all organic, depending upon what you get. It's minimally processed, mainly plants. It has some cheeses and things, but for the most part, it's minimally processed plants, like the healthy stuff, delicious stuff, and really high quality produce, and no added salt. It's like, it's like nearly impossible to find anywhere. Yeah, and most of the food is organic where possible. Like even our avocado toast, it had microgreens on it and, and fresh fruit on the side. It, everything was healthy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. highly recommend. You got to you got to stop by here in Englewood, and anywhere in Southwest Florida, it's not too not too far from you. So definitely stop by Mango Bistro. Yeah, it's worth the stop.